power to vote. Um, the, sec the, sec the second one is promote effectively using different tools so everyone can understand to, um, like to vote. And then the third one is we all went to college. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's okay. Jerry, yeah, give me the clue. All righty. How many on your list? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, what are they? Uh, the first one is when we started, we all like to question the instructions right away. Uh, we like to travel. Uh, we made sacrifices in terms of what we're doing now with our API of orgs. Uh, we all live in California and we love SD, San Diego, and we're all Democrats. <laughs> Okay, we have, we have uh, five. So, we all, so the first one, we all naturalized citizens. Uh, we all work for government in different ways. Okay. Okay. Uh, we all founded a grassroots organization, at least one. And uh, we all believe in uh, try to engage all of us to have a seat at the table. I'm talking about the big table. I cannot. Uh, oh, a spouse that support our civic work. Uh, <laughs> nice. Well done. Let, let's go back here. Who is the note taker? SK, okay. But we can pass the mic around. No, let's just okay. get the Okay, let's, uh, we have seven all together. Uh, the first one is we all married. Second one is we all have children. The third one, we all have a daughter, at least one daughter. Um, the fourth one is we volunteer in the community. Uh, fifth one, we care about people we don't know. Sixth one is we wear multiple hats. Uh, we involve in many different um, activities. Um, the seventh one is we all went to college and graduate school. Nice. Well done. All righty. Okay. Melt it out. We all have different names. <laughs> okay. We. We three are all a Papa chapter leaders. We all, we all three have been to DC many times. And we all three organized voter registration and phone bankings. And we, we three all like to write, and we write and publish. We three have four uh, common things. Uh, one thing uh, is we three both, uh, all of us come from outside of the continental US, Congo and mainland China. Uh, the second thing is we three all like new things, especially the cross-cultural background. And uh, uh, the uh, third thing is we both, uh, we all have sisters, brothers. So we learn from very young, know how to deal with others. <laughs> the fourth is we both uh, like exercise uh, and so keep us very, uh, very young and healthy so we can do many things for a long time. Excellent. Well done. Yes. I think we have a lot, it's too many to count. Uh, one thing is we, all, we don't like coffee, we like tea. And we are all Chinese, we are all naturalized citizens, and uh, we like Chinese food, and we all have great passion for voter registration and turn people to go out to vote. Excellent. Anything to add? So um, we have six uh, listed. Um, so uh, we all um, are very, uh, doing education things, uh, especially for Asian Americans. Uh, we like travel, we like food, uh, we know Chinese culture, um, we like history and uh, learn from history, and we all have kids. I nice. forget one thing, we're all very good looking. <laughs> well done. Wait, no, 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 no,
you can't add that because we can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I think we won because we have 12 things in common. <laughs> uh, so we started, you know, at the superficial level and then went deeper. So we started with food. We all like Chinese food and vegetables. We enjoy outdoor exercising, running and hiking. Uh, we've all watched the Joy Luck Club. We all love our families. We all have sisters. We all care about civic engagement. We also care about e immigration and education. We believe that immigration laws should be more compassionate and there should be more grace. Uh, we believe that immigrants have made great contributions to the country and oftentimes are unrecognized and undervalued. We all believe that there should be more Asian Americans elected to office. And we also believe that the younger generation is, uh, you know, we have hope for the younger generation and the future. For you. <laughs> and um, like the other group, we're also really good looking. Now, here's what I want to point out. In five minutes, you learned less than five minutes. Look how much you learned about other people, right? Could you spare five minutes in your community engagements to get people to know each other? Could you build it into your agenda to make sure you do exercises like this where people have the opportunity to laugh, smile, look eyeball to eyeball with people, right? And think of all the things that aren't on the list now that you learned about each other, right? And you know how we keep talking about how it's really important for us to have common ground? This is how you find it. You can find it like that. You can find it in five minutes if you build it into your agenda. If you build it into how you think, you will always put into your group engagements opportunities for people to just look at each other, laugh, smile, talk like this, five minutes. And you will change things. How many of you will always remember the people you just shared with, right? And I will tell you, different groups do this exercise very differently, right? I have, I have led this exercise, I don't know, maybe a hundred times or more. There are groups where everyone, everyone is just laughing the entire time because they're almost embarrassed to be, because sometimes they are genuine strangers. They really don't know each other and they have nothing in common. So they're, they're giggling through it. But okay, so you spent five minutes giggling with strangers. This is a perfectly lovely bonding experience. Other groups get so detailed and you can see the intensity. I mean, they're just writing and writing and writing because they want to win, right? <laughs> they, they, they really, really want to win. So up... <laughs> So, okay, we're not going to point any fingers, but, um, but even that teaches you something about the group, right? And other groups, they come up with this wide-ranging, incredible level of, oh my goodness, how did you even figure that out? One group, they were three people, they had never met each other, one was probably in their 20s, one was probably in their 60s, and one was, I don't know, at least 70, and they said, they had all spent time as missionaries in a particular village in Africa. Oh, wow. All from different faith organizations, but they were in the same village in different decades. And they wound up together. Another group of women, they said they had all met and married their high school sweethearts and all divorced their high school sweethearts. <laughs> right? I mean, the level of nuance you will get if you will just build in five minutes and actively show people that you could find common ground with absolutely anyone. We don't find common ground often because we don't look for it and we don't demand it. So I am just saying that for us at the Pollyanna Posse, the thing that we would hope you will take with this exercise is that if you've got 10 minutes on your agenda, make sure you leave people with that ability to eyeball to eyeball, smile, and find common ground. And it doesn't matter what the common ground is. The minute you find one, you have the faith you can find another piece and another piece. Can everybody agree on that? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Give yourselves a round of applause because you did fabulous. <laughs> Woo! Please return to your seats.